up guys so today we are going to be going through some battles tv games um that i played and the first one uh, is indeed against the one uh, and the only marwin karushe um so in this game well he's been doing this weird strategy um on discord he was saying it's like quite good so it's the wizard the super and the farm now he he was saying that it's only for pros and of course Marwin being the 100% uh, best player in the game, definitely. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So, um, basically, he said that only pros can use it, and it's a pretty good strategy. And I wasn't so sure about it, uh, but we're just going to go through this game. Of course, I went Dark Farm Ace. Uh, in hindsight, that may have not been the best thing to do. But I'm, I'm just going to well, not analyse the gameplay, because I'm not that good. Um, but I will be talking about what I did wrong and what I did right and what I could have done, etc. So I went mixed eco in this game. As you can see, I'm ecoing. Um, trying to put some pressure on him because, you know, trying to get him to build stuff up so he can't afford his farms. And you can see that he has to get the lightning bolt up. And he does leak down to 69 lives, actually. <laughs> 69 lives. And you can see um, I had to actually buy two triple darts just to deal with that. And I only eco to 340, so he's up in farms by a lot. And to be honest, our ecos are really similar, so I do not think um, that it was worth it. So also, in this video, uh, we're going to be going through this Marwin um, Battles TV replay, and then we'll be going through a hacker one. And, if I can find it, one against Jaja Josh, uh, or as Zerd likes to say, Yaya yeah, yeah, Josh. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll be looking at that replay as well, if we can. And I'm not going to give anything away. The hacker one was pretty funny, to be honest. So, this is a pretty good video. So, we've got Marwin, Jaja Josh, and a hacker. So, yeah, stay tuned. I'll try and make the commentary as good as I possibly can. But I am ill at the moment, so it may not be that good. And I'll try, if I cough or sniff or something, that's literally because I have the cold. And I cannot really help it. So, I've been speeding this game up quite a lot. And you can see that with this strategy, he can get so far ahead in farms maybe because i haven't pressured him that much but you can see our uh, ecos are virtually the same i look at our farms so i go for a small zebra rush which he absolutely crushes with those wizards and now he he leaks like four lives i think so i, I send the eek um thing because seriously i did not think it would go that well like the wizards are really really good group bloom popping power now um only a few months ago people thought that the wizard was like awful um, but in this game, it, it kind of shows that it is actually quite good. So I said a ceramic uh, with some pinks over the top. But again, I think he had his wizards set to strong. So they just demolished that ceramic. And you can see he's going for his factory on round 16. So I go for a massive regen rainbow rush. But with the four lightning wizards, he absolutely crushes that. And I was just like, I thought that that would be easily be enough um, to kill him. But with the, with the energy, he just absolutely smashes through that. And as you can see, Marwan actually never BMs me. Whenever I play him, he doesn't BM. Um, and in his latest video, which he has sadly now deleted, um, he said he only BMs people that he doesn't like. So, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, so he buys two Fire Wizards for this Moab. And you can see that he doesn't lose a single live against it. So he, he, the, the Fire Wizards are apparently really good. So he sells one. He goes for his farms. I send another Moab. Playing pretty aggressive right here and harming the eco that I got. I still got a better eco, but not by much. Because I've been sending some, uh, you know, so much stuff for him. So I send some leads behind it. And, well, he, he just defends it again. He, it's just too good. It's just... Um, for people... Like, that are really greedy, like Marwin. He, it, it's a really good strategy. And he does actually boost that when he doesn't need to. And look, he sent a Marwin at, uh, Marwa at me. But with the with the Dark Monkeys, I will defend that fairly easily. Although I did have to boost. And you can see my farming. I have so little money compared to him. So he goes for some regen leads. So I had to get up the Operation Dark Storm just to defend that rush. And I do defend it indeed. Um, but then I defend... Uh, sorry, I send a BFB at Marwin. Now, what he does is, he doesn't even have to, no, I, he doesn't even have to sell his factory to get up two phoenixes. So, he gets two, two phoenixes up, and that absolutely demolishes the BFB and uh, the children uh, um, inside it. So, yeah, that sounds a bit weird saying the children inside it, but that's basically what you say. Like, the children of the ceramic or something, it's just a bit weird. So, I send 
another BFB. Basically, I have nothing left at this moment. Like, my defense consists of Operation Dark Storm, uh, a Jug, and two Triple Dark Monkeys. That's not much at all. So basically, I go all out, and he gets <laughs> he gets the Sun God to defend this. Oops, I do not want to quit. Um, but yeah, he, he just demolishes it, and that's sad. And I said a few regen rainbows, but honestly, there's absolutely no way I'm going to win this one. So, he, he was just too he was just so greedy in this game, to be honest. Uh, and you can see, I, I decided to commit suicide, but then I was like, actually, if he dies to something really stupid here, uh, you know, like camo pinks, you can see face bombs. But I, I thought maybe I should just stay alive just to see what happens. Uh, send the thug life by accident, actually, there. But yep, yeah, so that, that was the game against Marwin, and I did indeed lose, as you can see. So yeah, that was pretty rip. It was it was a fun game, but I just got so out farmed. It was ridiculous. So right, so I went on prestige so I could find the game. So we're gonna go yeah, we're gonna go through the Jaja or Yaya Josh, should I say, game right now. So I he went for the ace. Uh, the farm and the wizard. He said it may come up in his next video, and you can see he BMs now. What I'm saying, what I'm, what I'm saying now is basically, I did not think it was him. Um, I did not think it was the real Jaja Josh, obviously, because he BM'd me, and obviously it was a joke. Like I talked to him on Discord afterwards, it was obviously a joke. Um, but at the time I didn't realize it, so I went tack farm mortar simply because I didn't think it was the real one, and it was like a duped account, so he wasn't very good, and that that is a hundred percent correct. Um, I, I just didn't realize. So, you, you see what happens this game, basically. Like, you know how good uh, Jaja Josh is, right? And he, he he's really good with the apprentice. He is literally, he is the wizard noob, right? He, he is the wizard noob. Um, so, he's actually going mixed eco against me. And the, the boosted blues with the pinks over the top is a really effective rush against the blade shooter. And you can see I leaked so many lives there. Uh, I put all my spikes down. I didn't leak that much. Um, because I put my spikes down, but it did use up my spikes. I sent some pinks at him. Doesn't do absolutely anything, because that, that lightning wizard is pretty good. And you can see I'm still up in farms. Uh, and he's only got a slight eco advantage on me. Because the blade shooter is pretty good. Um, it's pretty good early game. Uh, but when it goes late game with, like, ZMG rushes on round 32, it completely fails. Which is kind of why the ace would be good with this strategy. But of course, you can't bring the ace with this, because the camera leads. Like, if the attack shooter had camera detection, which would be make it completely OP, um, then that would be a really viable strategy. Um, sorry, sorry if I keep sniffing. Again, I am so sick right now. I don't feel that great, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, but I did want to get a video out for you guys, because I haven't posted in two days. Right, so, I, you can see I'm, I'm still out farming him. Uh, which is interesting because again this strategy can it can allow you to out farm early game. It just sucks late game um, Also, it's interesting. He didn't bring um, ice. I thought he would have gone apprentice uh, Farm ice, but no he doesn't so he goes to this small zebra and white rush doesn't do absolutely anything uh, So I do face palm that again. I do not know it is the real one, uh, which is quite funny so he said he sends a few camo um, camo reds just to see if I have camo detection, and indeed I do have camo detection, um, and I'm still up in farms by a bit, and I'm sure he will go for his BIA. No, actually he goes for the Republic. So I'm, I'm guessing because it's been a while since I played this game. I'm guessing he's going for no, I do not want to cut. Uh, I'm guessing that he's going for the factory, and, and I. Um, seeing that he's doing that, I'm going to go for the factory as well. And we get it exactly the same time. Uh, he sent a small rush with a ceramic um, and stuff inside. But I, I can just maelstrom. I have enough money to maelstrom that easy. Uh, but it does prevent me from getting the valuable bananas to the next round. Um, so I lose out on like 900 there. Which doesn't seem like much. Uh, but that can be... That kind of lost my farm lead. Uh, so I sent a Moab against him because Wizard obviously isn't that good against Moabs. And I do boost it out at just the right time. I never get the timing right. But look, he just get, he just demolishes that. Um, he gets the Tornado Mage. I don't think he needed to get that up, to be honest. I think he had that in the bag. Um, but yeah, we're nearing um, the end of the game right now because I completely messed up. Uh, I completely messed up. It was so dumb. Um, so we, we both... We both send a BFB at one another, and well, you'll see what happens. So, exactly, literally exactly the same time, apart from I didn't boost mine out, and he boosted his out. So, mine is a lot faster, and I got tons of tax rares up, thinking that the tax rares would 
destroy the BFB layer uh, and destroy the Moab layer. And so basically, I use up both Maelstroms at once. And look! Look at that. A few balloons sneak through. And I die to those few zebras and etc. And yeah, that's sad. Next game, let's go to the hacker game, guys. So let's not filter to it prestige. Let's just do any game. Right, so he was called player, obviously. Um, right, where is he? Where, where is this guy? Okay, so we're going to go through the three games we played. Apparently, apparently it's only recorded two, but I definitely played three against him. So let's let's just go on this one uh, and see what happens. I'm going to show both uh, both hacker games. Now, you can see this guy, he, he starts, he does exactly the same thing each game. He literally, he starts with uh, a ninja anti-stalling. Um, and I think on Battles TV, you may see how much money he gets. Because uh, it obviously is a money hacker. He's not a life hacker or anything. Um, but yes, yeah, so look at that, look at that. He has 154... What one five four five zero oh, eight seven four eco right there? So that is an insane amount of money right there, and he just gets tons of offensive pushes up and rushes you, so you can't defend. So he sends he sends boosted yellows, and basically uh, there's no way I can defend because I boosted early. I shouldn't have done that because um, then he kills me. Um, with some leads and some pinks, so that's pretty depressing. Maybe I could have defended, um, but he would have—he just would have regen rainbow rushed me if I hadn't. So, yep, I die to the pinks on round six, guys, and we are going to go into the next game. Uh, right, let's find it. Where? Where is it? Um, oh, this one's this one's funny. This one is funny. Also, I just noticed the Marwin video has well, the, Mar the the Marwin replay battles TV. Uh, battles TV replay. Wrong way around. Um, but yeah, it has, um, it has like 23 likes, 100 views, uh, which is, which is my second best, I think, so that's pretty cool. Um, but again, you can see he anti-stalls, then he energies, he also sends one set of reds out at me, um, as if, as if that would give you that insane amount of eco, like, Jesus Christ, seriously, do you, do you think I'm gonna fall for that? It's just ridiculous. Um, but... The good thing about this map is it has a very good spike pult or juggernaut spot. Um, so if I get up some spike pults, I may be able to defend. So he's sending he's sending pinks, but look at this. I defend. I defend. I, I have to boost because they, they were getting quite far. But I defend the first rush, guys. I do defend it. So at the moment, he so he gets up a phoenix. Like Jesus Christ! This look at look at look at how much money he has over there. Look, look at that. The, 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 it's just insane. Um, but I do still defend those balloons. I I didn't need to energy here. Um, oh I didn't. Okay. So then he he does that face. I face farm, and of course I die. I die to the rainbows, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna see. If I can find that hack again, but I don't, I do not think it recorded it, uh, so that's rip. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll go through one more game. Uh, can I find Vortex, Vortex Storm games? I'm gonna filter it to long maps. Uh, any of the Vortex, no, no Vortex, um, no Vortex whatsoever, um, so that's pretty rip. Um, right, let's see, can, can we find it on Prestige? Uh, no, no, okay, because there was such, there was a very... Very, very good one on um, on uh, Vortex Storm, but apparently I can't find it. So I'm gonna end the video here, uh, guys. I really hope you enjoyed um, seeing me play all these players, and yes, see you in the next video.